subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button good evening welcome to south asia news line i'm yeshi chanzo Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday the 9th of November. Heavy rains wreck havoc in India and Sri Lanka nearly a dozen killed. Pakistan agrees one month complete ceasefire with local Taliban militants. And Nepal army chief arrives in India for four day official visit meets counterpart Narawni. And now for all the details. Days of unexpectedly heavy rainfall have wreaked havoc in India's southern Tamil Nadu state and neighboring Sri Lanka, killing nearly a dozen people in flood-related and lightning incidents. While authorities in Tamil Nadu have issued a red alert in Chennai city for 3 days till November 11, Sri Lanka's meteorological department warned a cyclone forming in the Bay of Bengal was moving closer to the island nation. Days of unexpectedly heavy rainfall continued to wreak havoc in parts of India's southern Tamil Nadu state on Tuesday, crippling normal life. Water entered houses in several parts of the state while residents were seen walking in carved deep water on flooded roads that restricted traffic in the cities. At least 5 people have died in flood-related incidents in the state and over 500 mud and thatch houses and four brick houses had been destroyed in the rain so far an official said but at least uh, water was flowing uh, like uh, flood day for yesterday onwards night onwards because suddenly night 1:30 when rain started pouring within 4 hours the entire road was full and water was gushing like anything we have faced uh, i mean uh, low level and then water stagnation but not like water flowing like a river meanwhile in neighboring sri lanka the irrigation department on tuesday issued a major flood warning for the low lying areas of the maha oya valley after heavy rains continued to lash parts of the country Several deaths have been reported due to flooding, landslides and lightning incidents across Sri Lanka following incessant rainfall which has affected more than 7000 people in 15 districts. Authorities warn a cyclone forming in the Bay of Bengal was moving closer to the island nation. At least 4 of 14 infants in the newborn care unit of a government hospital died in central India when a fire swept through the unit late on Monday. Government officials said the latest in a string of hospital fires in the country this year that have killed dozens. The other newborns at the Kamla Nehru Hospital in Madhya Pradesh state many of them underweight have been shifted to other wards state medical education minister Vishwas Kailash Sarang told reporters after the fire was brought under control the cause of the fire is yet to be ascertained but officials said an electrical short circuit could be a reason Madhya Pradesh chief minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan said the incident was painful Singh ordered an inquiry and announced to pay 5400 US dollars to the families of the victims. Hospital fires have killed at least 70 people in India this year, including 10 last weekend in Maharashtra, a state neighboring Madhya Pradesh. We have saved all the children's rescue. We have saved 36 children, we have not saved 4 children. The government of Mukhi Manti Ji has given the order to the ACS Health. चार चार लाख रुपए वो बच्चों को तो हम नहीं ला सकते थे पर उनके परिजनों को चार चार लाख रुपए का मुआवजा दिया In news from Pakistan, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan has decided to put the whole sugar supply on the market for sale in the midst of the country's inflation and to control the escalating price of the sweetener. This comes as consumers have also been struggling to make ends meet with prices of essential commodities shooting through the roof. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan's government decided on Monday to bring the entire sugar stock for sale in the market in order to control the escalating price of the sweetener. 
In a high-level meeting chaired by Khan, it was also decided to start sugarcane crushing season from the 15th of this month across the country and to initiate strict legal action against hoarding and profiteering. The sugar price spiked to a record high level of Rs 160 per kg last week compared to Rs 100 per kg a month ago in the wake of an artificial shortage allegedly created by sugar mill owners and traders. In the midst of high inflation, consumers in Pakistan have also been struggling to make ends meet, with prices of essential commodities shooting through the roof including petrol and electricity. Federal Minister Hamad Azhar, speaking at a press conference after the meeting, accused the Sindh government of colluding with the Pakistan Sugar Mills Association, Sindh, and conspiring against the federal government. Earlier, Khan blamed that country's Sindh province shutting down three meals all of a sudden contributed to the record hike in sugar price. Azhar said that the price of sugar would start falling this week and reduce to a normal level in two to three weeks because of the measures taken by the government. Reports suggest that the Federal Board of Revenue was found selling sugar off books by the Sugar Commission, which was investigating the country's current sugar problem. This comes after Imran Khan last week announced country's biggest ever subsidy package worth Rs 120 billion to support 130 million people by ebbing away from the impact of inflation. More on news from Pakistan. Pakistan and local Taliban militants have agreed a one-month ceasefire, Pakistan's Information Minister Fawad Chaudhry said on Monday, opening the possibility of a fuller peace accord to help end years of bloodshed. The Taliban-led interim government in Afghanistan played the role of the mediator in the peace talks, the minister revealed. Pakistan and local Taliban militants have agreed a one-month ceasefire beginning from November 9, which may be extended if both sides agree, Pakistan's Information Minister Fawad Chaudhry said on Monday, opening the possibility of a fuller peace accord to help end years of bloodshed. The Pakistani Taliban or TTP, Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan, is a separate movement from the Afghan Taliban and has fought for years to overthrow the government in Islamabad and rule the nation with their own brand of Islamic Sharia law. There have been numerous failed attempts to reach peace agreements in the past. The latest talks were opened following the victory of the Afghan Taliban in August and the two sides have been meeting across the border in Afghanistan with the aid of Afghan Taliban leaders. यानी फायर बंदी में तोसी होती जाएगी। इन मुजाकरात में इफ़ानिस्तान की अथॉरिटीज़, यानी जो अबूरी हकुमत है, उन्होंने सहूलत कार का किरदार अदा किया है। Best known in the West for attempting to kill Malala Yousafzai, the school girl who went on to win the Nobel Prize for her work promoting girls' education. TTP has killed thousands of military personnel over the years and also claimed 2014 army public school attack that killed more than 130 children. Meanwhile, opposition Pakistan People's Party chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari alleged on Tuesday the parliament was not taken into confidence on the issue of talks with the banned TTP. He said he has always criticized the militant group and would continue to do so. In news from Afghanistan, for the first time in three years, the World Health Organization and the United Nations Children Agency have launched a four-day effort to vaccinate millions of children in Afghanistan against polio. The program, backed by the Taliban, aims to address the 3.3 million children who have gone unvaccinated since 2018. The WHO, World Health Organization and the United Nations Children's Agency, UNICEF, kicked off a polio vaccination campaign in Afghanistan on Monday, the first nationwide campaign to fight the disease in three years. The campaign had started in various parts of the country, but there were several hurdles around a shortage of trained staff. Naikwali Shah Momim, the National Emergency Operations Coordinator for the polio program at Afghanistan's Health Ministry, told Reuters. The campaign, which aims to reach over 3 million children, had received Taliban backing, which would allow teams to reach children in previously inaccessible parts of the country, the WHO said. 
که عقب ماندگی فکریت بعضی از پامیل های ما می باشه و دیگر نبود امنیت درست و دیگر درست و کاهش اکمالات درست نمی باشه که ما بیشتر نمی توانیم به موقع خود واکسین کنیم و به موقع بتوانیم زمین امراض جلوگیری Afghanistan and neighboring Pakistan are the last countries in the world with endemic polio, an incurable and highly infectious disease transmitted through sewage that can cause crippling paralysis in young children. Polio has been virtually eliminated globally through a decades-long inoculation drive, but insecurity, inaccessible terrain, mass displacement and suspicion of outside interference have hampered mass vaccination in Afghanistan and some areas of Pakistan. According to WHO figures compiled before the collapse of the Western backed government in August, there was one reported case of the one wild polio virus type 1 in Afghanistan in 2021, compared with 56 in 2020. According to health experts, until the disease is eliminated completely, it remains a threat to human health in all countries. Nepal's Army Chief General Prabhu Ram Sharma received a guard of honor and called on his Indian counterpart General M.M. M. Naravni in New Delhi on Tuesday as he began his official visit to India to bolster defense ties. In the course of the four-day visit, he will be conferred the honorary rank of general in the Indian Army in reciprocation of the honor given to the Indian Army Chief in Nepal last year. Nepal's Army Chief General Prabhu Ram Sharma on Tuesday received a guard of honor and laid wreath at the National War Memorial in New Delhi as he embarked on a four-day visit to India to bolster defense ties. During the visit, the Nepal Army Chief will be conferred the honorary rank of General in the Indian Army in a special ceremony at the Presidential Palace in reciprocation of the honor given to Indian Army Chief General M. M. Naravne in Nepal last year. He will also meet Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and other top-ranking officials to boost ties. On Tuesday, General Sharma also called on his Indian counterpart General M. M. Naravne and exchanged views on further strengthening bilateral defence cooperation. The visit comes on the invitation of General Naravne, who had visited Nepal in November last year, mainly to reset ties strained over a bitter border row in 2019 over the construction of a strategic road by India to the Lipu Lake Pass on the India-Nepal-China Tri-Junction. A 10-day long fair organized to give a marketing platform to rural women in India's northeast state of Manipur is receiving a good response from visitors. Women's self-help groups from across the state have set up various stalls to showcase their handloom products processed food items and other local products in the fair. In a bid to promote handicrafts and provide a marketing platform to the rural women, authorities in India's northeastern Manipur state have organized a 10-day long sale of articles of Rural Artisan Society or Saras Fair. More than 128 stalls have been set up by women self-help groups to showcase local handicrafts and handloom products including ethnic shawls, cane and bamboo products, and also vegetables, spices and processed food items. Organizers said as the event coincided with the state's Ningol Chakauba, a festival that symbolizes the love and bond between brothers and sisters, the women's self-help groups have witnessed a good sale so far. Those SSG members who, who are not able to uh, market their this one, the finished products, uh, we are giving a chance to marketing in this Mesar's Mela. The Saras Fair is organized from time to time by women's self-help group under the initiative of the National Rural Livelihood Mission. The fair this year will conclude on November 10. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash AsiaNewsline and follow us on Twitter at AsiaNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.
Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.